Today I'm going to spend a few minutes talking about none other than Wesley Ure and Kathy Coleman. Will and Holly from the TV series Land of the Lost. Their relationship is truly an uncommon one. Not because of anything weird, mind you, but rather because of their extraordinary friendship that has withstood the tests of time. And before I go into too much detail on this special relationship, let me set the stage for just a minute, folks. Picture this. It's 1973, and NBC has launched a Saturday morning series called Land of the Lost. Hold on to your feathers, Petey, because here comes one of Saturday morning's most exciting new shows, Land of the Lost. Show me, show me. A world stopped in time, and the Marshall family struggles to survive. I keep on wishing this was a dream. If there's a way in here, there's got to be a way out of here. This science fiction adventure show took me as a young boy on a wild ride with Kathy Coleman as the brave Holly Marshall and Wesley Ure as her fearless older brother Will. Together along with their father they battled dinosaurs and explored a world lost in time. Now the television business ain't no walk in the park folks. Kathy and Wesley faced their fair share of challenges during the production of Land of the Lost. Long hours on set, longer for Wesley because he was over the age of 18, demanding scenes, and the pressure to deliver top-notch performances in just one or two takes. Well, they tackled them all like rock stars. And through it all, the cast of Land of the Lost formed a bond that grew stronger with every obstacle that they overcame together. After their time on Land of the Lost came to an end, after three very successful seasons, mind you, Kathy and Wesley embarked on their own separate journeys. I remember seeing Kathy in a handful of fast food commercials and a Cheez-It commercial of all things. Wait, I think I might have that one. Hang on a second. Yep, here it is. I like munching. I like crunching. We like eating Cheez-It. Great cheese taste in every bite. We like eating Cheez-It. I like munching, I like crunching, we like eating cheese it I love the wild taste of cheese. Hey, more cheese it, please. They're great crunching crackers. We like munching, we like crunching, we like sunshine cheese it Cheese it by sunshine. How come the best tasting things keep coming from sunshine? But truthfully, folks, things aren't easy when you're 15 years old and looking for work in Hollywood. Why? Well, because it's just easier to hire an 18-year-old that looks like a 15-year-old. Child labor laws get thrown out the window, and let's be real, in most cases you're dealing with an actor who's a bit more mature, even if they don't look like it. Anyway, after a while, Kathy stepped away from the limelight, got married at a relatively young age of 18, and had two sons. I've heard her talk about working on a dairy farm and living on a beach. While Kathy may have left the bright lights of show business behind, it did seem like every day was an adventure for her. I know that Wesley has had a ton of really remarkable accomplishments since his Land of the Lost days, and yes, I know that he was also on Days of Our Lives, and that he hosted a game show called Finders Keepers, but the thing that stands out most to me was that he was involved behind the scenes in the creation of a children's television program on PBS called Dragon Tales. Fly with your friends on Dragon Tales. Wow! Make a wish and bring a friend. Magical rides are around the bend. Yeah! Travel to a colorful fantasy land. A place where dragons live. Come on, everyone! And friends always lend a hand. Oh. Cassie, Ord, and Kessel are there. Zack and Wheezy, too. Here we are! Come fly in the magical sky and let all your dreams come true. Wind down with Dragon Tales every good night on the Good Night Show on Sprout. All of my boys, as they were growing up, loved that program which had the primary goal of giving children the skills and resiliency needed to not shy away from life's challenges, big or small. And while Wesley and Kathy always stayed in touch, the 80s and 90s were a time where they were definitely living separate lives. But then something happened. 
Right around the turn of the century, nostalgia-based conventions just started popping up all over the place, and it seemed like Kathy and Wesley were being invited to a lot of them. And as they spent more and more time together, they realized that they truly were like brother and sister. There was a bond there that just could not be denied. These days when you see these two together, they seem to be laughing and having a great time just hanging out with each other and with fans. But in a recent interview with podcaster Pat McCormack, Kathy told him that while 90% of the time that is true, it's the other 10% of the time when things aren't so great that makes their friendship so wonderful. It turns out that the two have become so close that when things are just a little bit rough, they are there for each other. And that, my friends, well, that's what true friendship is all about. Kathy has written a memoir called Run, Holly, Run that is absolutely fantastic. You can, of course, get a signed copy directly from her if you ever end up attending a convention that she's at. But it's also available on Amazon. I'll post a link in the description section just in case you're interested in picking up a copy. What a life these two have lived. Can I just say that it is friendships like this one that truly give me hope for this world that we live in. Each of us have within us the ability to have friendships like these two have. Of course, it requires us to look beyond our own needs and really care about others. But every time I see a friendship like this one, that at this point is half a century strong, well, let's just say I'm inspired. Speaking of podcaster Pat McCormack, there he is with Kathy, or should I say Kathleen and Wesley, and that infamous yellow raft. His recent interviews with these two have just been so much fun to listen to. They're also available here on YouTube. I'll post links to both of them at the end of this video. Anyone remember this big lug? It's basketball legend Bill Lambeer. Did you know that he played one of those scary sleeve stack creatures that terrorized the Marshall family? It was long before his days in the NBA. William Lambeer was just 17 years old when he was cast on Land of the Lost. Of course, unless you watch the credits, you'd never know due to the fact that those creepy sleestack costumes covered him from head to toe. 